probably the movie that I watched the most when I was growing up was um, Dirty Dancing, and I always loved Penny, because <laughs> probably because I was really like Baby, you know, I was like this like Jewish girl from Jewish family that would go to vacation in places like the Catskills, even though we didn't actually. Um, but of course, I liked like the tall, skinny, blonde girl. <laughs> um, but I was 11 when I was cast in The Professional. I was trying out for everything. I was trying out for commercials and movies of the week and um, off-Broadway plays. The second thing I ever got was The Professional. Um, so I, I think I was just lucky that the people who chose me had good taste because I would have done anything. And it was a good lesson to have as my first movie too because we got killed by the critics, like the horrible, horrible reviews and really didn't make any money in the U.S. And it's still the only thing people come up to me about and still the thing that people tell me is like their favorite movie. So just reminded me, you know, it's the movie that, that speaks to people, not, not necessarily the impression at the moment it comes out. I will watch it probably for a few minutes before I turn it off, as opposed to if there's something on TV that I did, you know, a couple years ago, I'll never watch it. Because that film was um, so long ago, I mean, it's such a different person. It's not really like watching myself. It's like, it, it is like watching a different person. I started dancing when I was like three or four, and, um, and I, I stopped when I was like 12 or 13. Black Swan. Darren talked to me for the first time about the film 10 years, well, nine years ago, um, when I was 20. Uh, I was still in college and he told me, um, he told me the story almost exactly, but there was no script. Yeah, he said, I, I wanna do a film set in the ballet world um, that's sort of inspired by this short story called The Double, um, where this girl's sort of ego gets out of control and she, start seeing herself everywhere. And he said, there's gonna be a sex scene with yourself, but I'm not sure why. And, and then, you know, he went on to do other movies and every time I'd run into him, I'd be like, what about the ballet movie? What's going on with the ballet movie? And then finally, um, in 2008, I guess, um, I got a script. I love comedies, it's my favorite genre, and I feel like it's such a positive thing to put into the world. Um, you know, when people are sad or people are sick, you know, or, or you're just tired after a hard day of work, that's what you wanna watch, you know? When I hosted Saturday Night Live. I came in, like, I spent the week before coming up with ideas, and like, I had like a whole notebook full of like, okay, like, uh, I have this and this. So, and they were like, people don't do that, and we don't do that. We just sort of come up with it on the spot. And I was like, okay, okay. Um, I'm just so, like, I get nervous if I'm not prepared for things. <laughs> the only thing that they took from me was um, when I told the um, digital short guys, you know, Akiva and Andy and um, Yorma, um, that I loved... Um, I loved hip hop and I loved, um, you know, kind of filthy rap. Um, I don't rap around the house per se, but, um, but I have been known to, you know, sing along in the car to my Lil' Kim. That is true. I've never done improvisation before at all, whether dramatic or, um, or comedic, and it's such a different skill and it's so fun. It's very scary, but it's really fun because it uses a different part of your brain, um, absolutely. And when the goal is to laugh and to make other people laugh, it's just so fun. And um, to be in that environment where everyone is sort of, you know, where you're on set and people are shouting out lines at you, say that, you know, and, and your job is basically to say it and just not burst out laughing. That's also, um, I was like, I can't believe I'm getting paid for this.